Hello Aquarius, hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Pisces Spirit Moon. Right? Let's see what we have for you. Let's see what the Divine has for you. Aquarius, keep in mind that my readings are general and they're timeless. Okay, so just uh, keep what resonates and discard the rest. Don't try to uh, fit or force anything, okay? Leave the rest for somebody else. Aquarius, if you like how I read and uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my contact info is on the description box down below, okay? Also, if you'd like to support my channel and what I do, I do accept the uh, donations. So, if you're in the financial position to do so, it would be truly appreciated. Messages for Aquarius, please. Also, please do click the like, subscribe buttons, so you can subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notif notified when I upload new videos, okay? That helps my channel grow also. Also, if you leave, leave a comment, you know, even just a hello, that would be nice. That helps my channel grow too. Come on. Aquarius, please. Yeah. Aquarius, if you're familiar with Tarot and uh, you pick up something different, that I what what I channel here. Um, you feel like commenting? Please, by all means, go ahead. Okay, I don't mind. I think uh, there's always someone who could benefit from another message. You never know. You could help someone out. Okay. So do feel free to to do so. Okay. All right, Aquarius. The heart of the matter, or what this reading will be about, is the full, it's that leap of faith, a new beginning. All right, Aquarius, I hear you. What's blocking you or challenging you is the King of Wands. Hope you're not being lazy. What's crowning you or in your conscious level or what you do see clearly is the Knight of Cups. At your subconscious level or what you don't see clearly or maybe you don't want to see, is the hangman. Some Piscean energy right there. Some of you could have some Pisces in your chart. In your recent past, or what's behind you and is pushing you through this, it's judgment. It's a big wake up call from the universe. They're kicking your ass, Aquarius, to take action. You're not wanting to do so somehow. Maybe you're starting to listen to, to, to that message. That's for some of you. In your near future, or where you're headed to, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I start getting on track. The way you see yourself or how you're responding to this is the devil. Strong Capricorn energy. 
Maybe you could have some Capricorn in your chart. Okay, we'll get to it once I finish laying all the cards because I'm giving a few different things. We'll see. The energy around you or your external environment or what's affecting you externally is the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, get a sense you're not wanting to let go of something here. Like you're stuck. But you feel it. You know, you have to move on from something. In your hopes and fears, we have the Ace of Cups, Divine Love. And in your outcome or advice, which I usually like to take more as advice, it's the Nine of Pentacles. That's nice. The pre empress. It's also giving, wanting to give birth to a new beginning. Because she's that pre empress. But you have to listen to your intuition more. The divine is trying to give you a wake up call. It's like they're ringing the buzzard and you're not answering. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, juggling. Balancing, juggling emotions, but I think some of you might feel stuck in a loop, some type of a loophole here. Because I've got the infinite symbol, those two pentacles. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Aquarius here are being called to do a major change in your life here and you're not really taking much action about it but I think you will but not at this moment okay I think uh, you're still holding back onto something here and it might be rather toxic and this could be within yourself for most of you. I'm not saying that you're toxic. It could be something that you enjoy doing. Or not necessarily enjoy doing. I think you're aware it could be something, an action that you do every day and that's what's keeping you stuck and you're not wanting to let go but I, th I have a sense that you're wanting this change I th think some of you want To feel supported and loved by someone. To help you release this. The divine is clearly telling you, trying to show you, or trying to tell you to start seeing your self worth. The divine is telling you that it's time to make this move, this new leap of faith. Okay? But with that King of Wands as the block, is, you're not taking that action. Because the King of Wands is say, go get her. When he sees something that interests him or, or, or he, he, he somewhat attracted to he will stand up from that throne and take action but you're not doing it 
the hangman your subconscious is that yes uh, somewhat how somehow you are feeling a bit stuck but I think this also the divine trying to tell you that they have you in this position so that you can receive some messages but also that you are not listening to your intuition Some of you are stuck mentally and have to unstuck yourselves, okay? And I get that feeling because of the double and that not wanting to let go, holding on too tight to something. This is not going to be easy to say, uh, but for those who are expecting that support from someone else to help you, I mean, yes, we can always have support from others, but maybe you already have it and you're still not taking action because if we don't support ourselves first, we're not going to take that action, okay? We can have all the help from other people around us telling us, hey, uh, you got to stop doing this, um, blah, 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 you know, and uh, well, that's already a form of support, you know, but if you're not willing to change, um, the it's not going to happen magically, you know. This is strongly telling me that you have to start giving yourself that self-love if you really want to make this change within you or in this situation. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's very toxic and you know it. And you're not wanting to let go, but I think you know. You have to. With the Knight of Pentacles in your near future, that's an energy of moving slowly somewhere, being protected, but slowly taking that pentacle and finding solid ground where you can plant that seed, that pentacle. To start a new beginning, the beginning that they're asking you to make, to take. Since the judgment card is in your recent past, I think you've all you're you're already getting that you know that mess, strong message. You know, the people coming out of their out of their coffins is a strong sign of people leaving an old life behind it's leaving their comfort zone and the comfort zone can be very toxic so yeah Aquarius you have to listen to your intuition start, start uh, seeing your self value and uh, try to stay more grounded, try to connect more with nature, okay? But listen to your intuition, even if it sounds like crazy thoughts to you, um, just go for, for it. it you, it's, you'll feel it. When it's something that you really feel, you'll know that's your intuition kicking. Try to listen to it more. With the Two of Pentacles on the bottom, that's a lot of juggling and balancing. And I think uh, strongly suggesting that you have to keep balanced, okay, through this process. There's a lot of uh, uh, emotional balance, I feel, that 
you're going to have to work on within yourself to, to go through this, okay? I'm not really sure what your situation is. It could be with a relationship, it could be within yourself. But things are starting to turn for your favor, to you, into your favor. You are being guided, ascended, promoted. We have the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. It's not an easy reading, of course, but uh, but yeah, you have to, you have to. You have to make that leap of faith. I think most of you already know it. It's, it's a change of something, something toxic in your life, and you have to break the chains, and you know it. But with that hangman and your subconscious, you're still not listening to your intuition properly. You will, uh, once you start seeing yourself out, and then you'll be able to let go. You'll be able to step out of your coffin. Okay, Aquarius? I never spoke about the Knight of Cups, so sorry about that. That's at your conscious level. When you do see it, it's very similar to that Knight of Pentacles. Yes, I think uh, you're wanting to take your emotions somewhere else, just like that pentacle. Both horses are facing the same way, same direction, and it's towards towards the future not towards the past. All right, Aquarius, I think I'm going to leave it there for you. All you have to do is just start listening to your intuition, okay? And stay balanced. Stay balanced. Keep your emotions in check, okay? And be strong and brave to let go of whatever this toxicity in your life is, okay? And you'll heal, you'll... I think for some of you, though, your hope is being able to heal from this toxicity. So for some of you, it could be maybe even some substance abuse or alcohol. And you're hoping to heal from it. You will, if you're strong enough and brave enough and keep balanced. But yeah, do listen to your intuition. If you're getting messages about your health, maybe, you know, listen to them. Okay. We always get those little downloads. All right, Aquarius. Of course, I hope this reading helps you, okay? And uh, whatever this is that you're going through and you're trying to release, uh, I wish you all the best and all the strength. I know you can do it, okay? All right, of course. I hope to see you next time, okay? Thanks for, thanks for visiting. Stay safe, stay happy, okay? And stay blessed, all right? Goodbye, of course.